So I mentioned that the, the global economy is in this long-term stagnation since 2008. The crisis of 2008 has not been re resolved at all. But the global economy has been sputtering forward on the basis of several mechanisms pushed by the ruling groups. One is debt-driven debt -driven growth. Right now, world, worldwide debt is approaching $300 trillion. We've never seen anything uh, like that. That includes corporate debt, consumer debt, and government debt. That can't continue, and it's not going to continue. The other thing that's pushed the global economy forward in the face of this stagnation is wild financial speculation. Everyone's been talking about it. That we should. That we should. Let me give you one dramatic piece of data if we have time. The real economy of goods and services is valued at $75 trillion every year for the whole world, the production of goods and services. Whereas speculation just in derivatives, which is a speculative instrument, is now one quadrillion dollars. So this financial speculation can't continue either. That's why we're seeing the collapse, for instance, of the cryptocurrency markets. So the third mechanism, which has kept the global economy going, and this is linked now to Ukraine, is what I call militarized accumulation, meaning that the ruling groups promote wars, they promote social conflict, they promote and expand systems of transnational social control and repression just as a way of accumulating profit because it's enormously profitable in the face of stagnation in the civilian economy. So Russia invades Ukraine. I condemn that invasion. We all should be condemning that invasion. But on the other hand, that's given what I refer to as the transnational capitalist class, especially in the United States, the justification to massively expand military spending to further militarize the whole global economy, and not just the United States. The other big countries in the world, um, from China to, uh, to, to, the, to the European Union countries, to India, are all rapidly expanding their military budgets. So the Ukraine invasion has va vastly intensified the militarization of the whole global uh, economy and society.